Yeah, I, people are telling me it was that I didn't get to see either one of the other fights, but um, it, 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 it was what I predicted it was going to be. It was going to be uh, like a Corrales Castillo kind of brawl, and it turned out to be similar, no doubt. There were knockdowns on both sides. I think John, being a 10 to 1 underdog, surprised a lot of people. They thought he was going to be gone very early. Um, you know, we really had control of that first half of the fight. And Mathisi, I think, out of desperation, I think he, you know, he got, uh, you know, the corner told him that he was going to have to. Uh, no worries, man. Trust me. Yeah, that he was, was going to have to. Um, you know, pick up the pace and get back in the fight, and he did. And you know, he was just a little bit more active. He was landing. Uh, John slowed down a little bit. And, you know, was still, you know, back and forth even to the end, up until the end. Uh, you know, ninth, tenth round, John was uh, still landing some big shots, but he was taking more punishment towards the end. You know, I hate to see, uh, I hate to see my boy go out like that. You know, because we were so close to victory. And John's a great kid. He's a special guy, and he's. He's a, he's a real warrior. At the time of the stop, at the time of the fight being over, how did you see the fight? Was was John ahead by your by your account? You know, it's it's kind of hard to tell. I, I like to kind of go home and watch the thing on tape and see exactly what uh, what the deal was. But I, I got to tell you, um, I know we certainly were in control of the first half. Um, yeah, I just, I just, you know, know I have the senses about me that I think, uh, you know, Mathisic probably was winning the majority of uh, the later rounds, uh, and I knew it was uh, getting closer and closer if, if indeed he hadn't taken a small lead. So I knew we were in that type of position, and um, you know, uh, you know, we pulled one out against Bay. Uh, we, you know, we've pulled a lot of them out before. And, this is the, um, you know, that's all that we had left in the bag was trying to pull it out right there because Mathise certainly was coming on strong. So uh, we needed to do something uh, uh, devastating and it didn't happen. And, um, you know, I'm just uh, so sorry for John that I couldn't have done more for him. His future does look bright even in a loss. Yeah. He, he's definitely going to get bigger fights. You know, this very fan-friendly, fan exciting style. Who, who would you like to see him go up against next? He was supposed to fight Broner. That was well, rumored uh, to be. I, I would love to see him fight um, uh, Oscar uh, Figueroa. Omar Figueroa? Oh, I meant uh, uh, Joe Joel, Joel Diaz is fighter Omar Figueroa. Yes, I would love to see him fight uh, Omar Figueroa. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's without a doubt. Um, available if it's out there you know I, I would take that in a heartbeat but you know that's the first name that popped into my mind was uh, Omar Figueroa and um, you know I'm sure the management and the promoters have their ideas but um, yeah that that's the first one that popped into my mind right there I'd like to see that happen